Today I would like to clarify a little bit about boundary layers and laminar sublayers at the base of flows. So we have a water flow and we have an average flow speed and a sedimentary surface. So we have a surface here. We can plot the flow speed going downstream with an average flow velocity u right at the sediment water surface due to friction of the surface the flow speed is zero so if we plot u it's zero here and there's a zone where you have the viscosity of the fluid which is friction within the fluid uh, affecting the flow speed so it's zero at the boundary layer at the surface and then there's a zone here, where the flow speed is influenced by that surface. So this is what we define as the boundary layer. This zone where the flow speed is decreased because of interaction and friction with the surface. Uh, within that boundary layer, there's a point which the flow speed is so low that the fluid goes from being turbulent in the bulk of the flow to laminar. So at this point right here, below this layer, in here, the flow is laminar, and that's called the laminar sublayer. The zone when the flow goes from turbulent through a transitional zone into laminar flow. That, that layer is often also called the viscous sublayer, and that's because the viscous forces of the fluid are dominating over the inertial forces of the fluid, so inertial forces that um, promote turbulence. Um, I prefer laminar sublayer because that describes the, the behavior of the fluid itself. So thanks for watching.